Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel for some more Samurai Warriors 4-2. So today we're going to get the rare weapon for Nene. So this is going to be a special series I guess and she is going to be rocking her DLC costume. And I'm going to pair her up with her husband of course just for the convenience of this. Um, I'm not sure if I will be doing every single character for their um, rare weapon but I'll try my best to do my favorite female characters since they have their DLCs. So basically what I'm gonna do here is gonna show off how to get the rare weapon, which is the 5 star weapon for the character involved. So this time we're gonna do Nene. Um, to clear off the questions, you can actually use the free mode to um, access the rare weapon. You do not have to actually go with the um, story mode. So what, has, what happens here is usually when you want to get the rare weapon, you have to be very quick. You, you need to at least, I guess, achieve a certain number of kill streak, which I don't know for Nene, but I say uh, safe wise, like, just to make sure you actually get the weapon. I say at least 600. And that's how I feel, and you have to go for the difficulty of hard or above. So what, what happens is usually um, for me, if I want to get Nene's weapon, I will usually start with um, like having Nene to clear off this middle bottom patch of people. First of all, the first um, mission actually requires you to do so, and second of all, you could actually get a decent, like me right now, I already have um, 500 something kills. So here is a hidden mission that you have to use your partner to get into, so um, regardless of whichever partner you choose in free mode, you will still end up here. So um, the deal is you take out the three warriors here, I already took out two, so this is the third one. Um, for those of you who actually don't know, both of these characters already have their uh, rare weapon, level 5 weapon, so that's why it is much of a breeze to actually achieve it. But trust me, the hard mode, especially for the first battle of the campaign, like this one, is not going to be hard. But, you know, like I'm just saying, like, you have to use your partner to actually like aid you out in actually completing that part, or else you will be missing the uh, mission required to actually achieve the special mission that gives you the weapon. Um, the deal with the special mission is it is like four. The mission is the same as the like normal missions except one of the missions actually um, after you uh, I guess finished every single mission before the special mission um, it would show a special weapon icon like the ones you see in four and completing the mission within a certain time span actually allows you to get the um, rare weapon. So uh, basically the deal is, unless else specified, like the unique missions that you could only achieve by using I guess the campaign um, main character, like when you're playing in the story mode, basically you could actually um, achieve it with your main character that you want the weapon, or, and or um, characters from, I guess, the main story selectable players. But for, I guess, this playthrough, it proved to you that you don't really have to um, choose the story mode to actually get the special weapon. Here's the deal though, um, for story mode, you actually, I guess, get to see special cutscenes featuring particular sets of characters chosen, which is, like, it's like an unlockable, I guess, event before battle. But if you're playing like myself right now for this particular battle, um, I'm actually playing in the free mode, so you get to see nothing. But for sake of, I guess, quicker videos, I guess that's gonna work out. But even if I'm playing in story mode, I'm gonna just press start to actually, you know, um, basically just run through quickly. So here's the thing, um, what I'm doing is basically whatever mission that comes up, I'll finish it ASAP. That's why like, I'm plowing through every single mission that popped up. What I want to do right now after placing um, Hideyoshi down, Hideyoshi or whichever partner that you choose to work with down at the middle, I guess, bottom part is because the next mission will have Chosokabe and Motochika come and ambush us. So how, how it's going to turn out to be, um, I'm supposed to wait here because um, what, what's the deal is I have to take out Koshosho and for Hideyoshi here, uh, I have to let Nene finish the main mission, yes of course, but here's the thing, you can actually take out the every single other characters that that like um, is included in the same mission and you leave the last character for Nene to knock out. 
in this case, um, just like leave Moto Chica there because the mission for Nene's weapon is actually the mission to take out Gracia and her other five, te like four team members. And if you take out, say, Koshosho, or if you take out Chosokabe Moto Chica, there's actually a conversation that's triggered, and then Gracia would actually say something that would prevent the actual weapon event from happening. So the safer bet is actually take out any one aside from everyone aside from Motochika and your main character Nene here will have to wait for them to finish their conversation and the door unlocks and there would be a special bonus mission for you to exactly here comes the mission like the special bonus mission allows you to actually go and um, take out Goshosho. For those of you who are actually curious, um, how do I know which sequence I should do it? Is because there's actually a Koei strategy guide book, official strategy guide book for the game, which I actually purchased. So um, it saved me a lot of time to actually go get the weapons. I didn't read it when I was playing the um, game because I thought that would be very not productive if I'm not reacting to the game. Proper, but you know, this is post game. It's like me doing some filler episodes before I leave for my business trip. So, and of course, showing off the DLC I paid for, and maybe some of you guys who are interested to know how to get the, I guess, special um, rare weapons. You would want to like, if you get stuck, you will want to know about it. So obviously, my example here just now was pretty bad because I got, I got myself lost and almost went to the wrong area. I'm not really sure up to this point I've achieved already a thousand like 352 kills. How much do I really need? Honestly speaking, I don't know. But to be safe, I say at least 600 because some of the female characters I've read the guidebook they didn't say much about like the necessary kills. But you know, like um. For some, they actually did write out, like, you have to achieve a thousand, etc, etc. So, I, I'm just suggesting, to be safe, you have a... You see? Like, it triggers the event. So, um, basically, you would want to proceed to this particular, I guess, little hut or shack thing. Um, that shack, like, behind me just now is exactly where Gracia is hiding. And if I successfully been through what I did just now, if you successfully been through, you would see this. There's a special prize with a shiny mark, which means that your weapon will be a rare weapon. So yeah, after you succeeded, the complete sign would actually shine in platinum just like that. So that's it for the mission. Um, the kill streak wise, I don't really know. So to be safe, like I've said, just try to achieve at least 600. Um, maybe for missions like this, like battles like this one, you can actually do more because there are so many enemies. But then I guess the computer actually registers if you have lesser enemies, you don't really have to go like manhunt on everyone. So congratulations on this point if you actually um, did everything like I did or some, I guess, some other strategy you guys did, you would be able to get Nene's. Five star rare we weapon. Rare weapon. Wow. Hello, Annie. What the hell? So, oh, camera angles, man. I want to see the maid prowess. Okay, you know what? You already see how she is. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, this marks a victory and a complete mission on receiving a five star rare weapon. So, yeah, you, you see, like, the signs are different like the complete sign are different for rare weapon and lo and behold no not that one this one like this one down here you can actually own multiple copies and selling them gives you 2,000 bucks so this marks the end to the first I guess weapon walkthrough and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next walkthrough bye